Good afternoon. I'm going to show you how to make these snowflakes. They seem to be all the rage this year. They're made with plastic hangers. You can get them at the dollar store or at Amazon. That's where I got mine because then they come right to your door. You need 16 hangers for each snowflake. You need a bag of zip ties. The smaller ones, you don't need any giant ones. You're going to cut off the tails anyway. And you want to look for different things. You see this one has these, this one has these, this is baby hangers, this is adult hangers. It's all just fun. And if you like this, let me know on Facebook or Instagram. I'm totally out of my element. I don't do videos. And I'm not really all that crafty, but everybody wanted to know how to make these. So here you go. Make sure to follow us at juxtaposition.com. The name is typed out at the end of this video. Please follow us. Bye. I went for these ones strictly because they had this, this little ding ding, this thing here because it makes them just a little bit cuter. In our local dollar store, they didn't have those. I also ordered these zippy ties, 100 from Amazon. So I have plenty, let's see what we can do. Alrighty then, I'm gonna give this a shot. I printed a picture so I'd have some idea. Don't look at my dirty kitchen floor. And this is what you do. You put two together. You put two together and when you do this you want them going up really you can make them whatever way you want depends on how symmetrical and what kind of design you want I would say you can make some down and some up and make different looking snowflakes because as they say no two snowflakes are alike so this is your first eight you lay them down like that in pairs of two then you go again and you make a pair of two and you take this straight line and you put this up the middle here like this. Take the straight line and you go up the middle. Straight line up the middle between the two handles. All right. And then I'll put that one. So, we now have them all laid out. If this is the way we want them, we start attaching. I would start, do it very loosely because you want to be able to move them around and adjust them before you tighten it. So you take two hang handles and bars and put them together. You go here now here, these two handles were on top. They were the top layer, but here, they're the bottom layer. You wanna do that, that's why it's nice to do it on a floor so that you can keep it level as you go. And again, don't pull too tight. You're just getting a start. And here, these were up, so here, they're under. You just sorta Line it all up as you go. That's why you keep it loose so you can rearrange and adjust. And then I'm gonna time lapse it because you go all the way around and yeah, me getting up is a trip. Okay, so now that you have all the tops hooked, this is when you work it around and make sure everything is sort of lined up where you want it to be. You can tighten them up a little bit. Now what you're gonna do is go down here to this bottom and get where you have all four together, again, and put in a zip tie. Again, not too tight, because you wanna be able to have a little play and you can rearrange and then make them tight. See that? Kinda neat. 
looking like a snowflake. So you can buy different size hangers. You can buy hangers that have different designs on them. Like I specifically wanted these that had the little hookies and I wanted this, you know, thick part at the bottom, but you don't have to, especially if you want to make all different kinds of them. You can spray paint them different colors. You can add flowers or glitter or really pretty much anything you want. I happen to like things very simple and plain, so I won't be doing that on mine. I'm going to keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid, I say. So voila, I think we're there. So now what I'm going to do is make sure it's flat and I'm going to pull it tight. And I'm going to turn, I'm going to keep these all nice and flat. And pull it tight. And pull my bottoms tight. But see why you didn't? Because this, this is why you didn't pull it tight yet. So you can sort of move them around, get them where you want them. If you're concerned about it being asymmetric, I kind of like things a little more natural, but some people like them to be perfect. Like you see, I overlapped that a little bit, but it's all right. It's all good. No two snowflakes are alike, right? So no two hanger snowflakes need to be alike. Oh, and it looks like I missed one. See, it's very easy to do. I missed one right here. So let's put it together. That last one I think is always hard. You get to get it underneath. Helps if you have the zip tie right. Okay, I think that's pretty straight. And I think I'm there. By George, I think I've got it. I would say, voila, we have ourselves a snowflake. What do you think, folks? It's pretty cool. I'm gonna cut them all off. You go in like this with your scissors and you snip them and I'm gonna hang it outside. So I have siding on my house. So I bought these little hooks also from Amazon. They go right up inside your siding. And see, you can hang it and tweak it as you go, but it really doesn't matter because they're snowflakes. And look how freaking cute they look on the side of my house. And they're big, so they make a fabulous decoration. You could kind of hang them from anywhere. They're beautiful. You see, I did a little pink one with baby hangers, and you can do that. I could hang them all along the side of my house, and how neat will they look? I think they'll be cool. Yay!